of differences between One Piece's manga and anime, but the one about Luffy's brother nearly got the series cancelled. Because if you skip to chapter 157 of the manga, you can see this tattoo on Ace's back that's super sus. The anime didn't want to risk anything, so they changed it to this cross symbol. But the differences get bigger, because it turns out the anime and manga have different beginnings. In the manga, Luffy washes ashore on an island where Kobe finds him. In the anime, the story starts on a cruise ship called Lady Mary, and Luffy's pulled up onto the boat in this barrel. Kobe is still in this version, but this time he's a crewmate aboard the ship. And that brings us to Luffy's face scar that wasn't animated for over 900 episodes. See, the manga shows Luffy cutting his own face to prove that he's strong. But the anime wanted to be more kid-friendly, so they removed the scene entirely. The only way you can see it animated is if you find the 2012 TV special called Episode of Luffy. Now that's crazy, but it's nothing compared to One Piece's goriest change. See, in the anime, this guy Zep saves Sanji's life during a storm, but gets his leg stuck in underwater wreckage. The anime implies that Zep cuts his leg off with an anchor to avoid drowning. But the true scene in the manga is way more gruesome. Because instead of cutting off his leg, Zep is forced to eat it after being stranded on an island for 85 days. And that's not the only Sanji-related change. Skip to chapter 68 of the manga, and you'll see child Sanji smoking to prove he's a man. This ended up getting censored in the anime because the production team didn't want to encourage kids to smoke. Of course, the notorious kid-safe version of One Piece took things further by even and censoring adult Sanji cigarettes and giving him a lollipop instead. The next change will give you nightmares. In the bonus section of chapter 97, the creator of One Piece took Luffy's straw hat and drew it as a person. I kind of wish he didn't, because that thing is terrifying. It even has this ugly scar, which represents the time Buggy damaged it. Now, sometimes anime changes can actually be amazing, and the best example of this is the One Piece chapter that was saved from being deleted. See, back when Oda was creating the manga, he wrote up Sabo's entire backstory but never added it to the manga because he had too tight of a deadline. This backstory would have been lost forever if he hadn't given it to the anime team, who ended up including it in season 14. Now we have to talk about the time One Piece's manga and anime made the same mistake. See, when the manga published chapter 393, the cover page accidentally showed Crocodile with two hands when normally one of them is a hook. This mistake was quickly fixed, but that didn't stop the anime from making the same mistake, because in episode 117, you can also see Crocodile animated with two hands. And that's not the only accident, because one of the differences between the manga and the anime is this big mistake in episode 461. See, in this scene, Shanks has two arms clearly visible, but this doesn't make sense because a couple hundred episodes earlier, he lost an arm while saving Luffy from a sea monster. But listen, the dumbest difference probably happened in chapter 698 of the manga, where you can see Zoro accidentally drawn with Luffy's chest scar instead of the one he normally has. If you've only ever watched the anime, you probably don't know about One Piece's biggest censorship of a fight. In the anime version of Whitebeard's final fight, you can see that half of his mustache gets blown right off his face. But in the manga, Whitebeard lost way more than that, because it turns out half of his face got destroyed. It makes you realize just how powerful he is once you see the original scene. If you look at Princess Vivi's outfit in the anime, nothing looks off. But it turns out her outfit was changed from this original manga design because the round swirls on her chest were a little too suggestive. This design did end up getting animated, but only in a One Piece movie release called The Clockwork Island Adventure. Now let's talk about Zoro, because some of the strangest differences between the anime and the manga have to do with him. Like this scene in the manga is completely normal, but in the animated version, the production team accidentally drew a second Zoro here. Instead of just standing there, maybe he could have helped himself out with that fight? Another Zoro change happens way back in episode 1. See, we all know Zoro was tied to this cross. In the anime, it's because he knocked out a marine officer's pet wolf with a chair. Which is pretty nice considering that Zoro actually kills the wolf in the manga. Buggy the Clown is one of Luffy's first enemies in One Piece, but he has a dark side that can only be seen in the manga. If anyone makes fun of his nose, Buggy ends them instantly. While in the anime, he just
just scolds them. Trafalgar Law doesn't have the best reputation when it comes to his manners, but his love for offensive gestures landed him his very own censorship. The anime cut out his scenes of flipping off Eustace Kid entirely and replacing it with a smug grin instead. And while this change seems a little minor, Nochiko's encounter with Nezumi somehow ended up worse in the anime. See, this guy Nezumi was working with the Arlong pirates. When Nami confronted him, he ordered three marines to shoot her. But this is a big change from the anime, because there, Nezumi instead pulls out a pistol and fires at Nami, intending to kill her. But Nojiko jumps in to save her and gets shot in the back, which is crazy. But Nojiko wasn't the only one with firearms pointed at her. See, when Sanji was still working on the Baratie, he had a motto of never letting another person go hungry. But the other chefs did not like this. The anime shows them surrounding Sanji, pointing giant forks and knives at him. But in the manga, they were all pointing guns. That almost seems like a four kids type of censorship. Almost every big anime has filler content, and One Piece is no exception. But what makes it different from other shows is that the filler is only a tiny percentage of the overall story. Like Naruto's anime is 41% filler, while One Piece is only 9%, which is about 100 episodes. And while some fans can't stand the idea of non-canon material, One Piece has some amazing episodes you can't miss. The filler arc called Ocean's Dream, which is about four episodes, is actually based on a One Piece video game called Ocean's Dream that came out for the original PlayStation, which is cool, but the best filler episode is almost impossible to find. Episode 590 features a crossover with One Piece, Dragon Ball, and Toriko. This episode wasn't even available in America until early 2023, despite being made over 10 years ago. But that's not the only filler crossover. In fact, One Piece's manga has a crossover series called Cross Epic that combines Luffy and Goku's worlds. It's basically all about them having a huge party. While Boa Hancock may be the president of Luffy fan club, Bartolomeo was definitely its founder. If you were dumb enough to insult Luffy in front of him in the manga, he would cut your tongue out. The animated version decided to make this a little bit less revolting and had Bartolomeo's victims keep their tongues, only to receive a brutal beating instead. Honestly, both outcomes sound terrible. Belmere wasn't quite as lucky in her changes, since she ends up being murdered in both the anime and the manga. After a gut-wrenching apology to both Nami and Nojiko for not being a better mother or having more money, Arlong the Fishman shoots her in the head point blank. This scene would have been way too gruesome to animate, so in an attempt to lessen the severity of her death, the animators decided to have her shot in the chest, which is still horrible. Now, if you take a look way back in chapter 33 in the manga, we see Django throwing one of his chakram weapons at Nami, only for Luffy to stand up and have it hit him in the back of the head. However, in episode 14 of the anime, since Luffy is already standing up and in the middle of yelling at Nami for stepping on his face, the chakram flies into his mouth. I'm not sure why they made this change since it doesn't really affect the story. And while Luffy's jaws are pretty strong, they're nothing compared to the difference in strength between manga and anime Luffy. See, in episode 914, we see Luffy battling Kaido for the first time and actually putting up a good fight. The two go toe to toe and Kaido appears stunned multiple times from the damage of Luffy's attacks. Despite the two of them starting out on equal levels of strength at the beginning of the fight, Luffy overwhelms Kaido and sends him crashing into the ground. The manga version of this fight made Luffy way weaker since the battle was over in the blink of an eye. See, despite landing a few hits on Kaido, Luffy wasn't even close to being able to defeat him. But even worse, Kaido was drunk the entire fight, meaning that he wasn't even using half of his power and Luffy still got knocked out in one hit. And that brings us to the cutest change in the series. From the beginning of the show, One Piece's author never wanted to make Chopper the cute side character. But when he heard the voice actor for the anime version of Chopper, his mind was completely changed. And in an interview, One Piece's creator said that voice artist's voice was too cute, and Chopper's design needed a change to be cuter. But of all the differences between the manga and the anime of One Piece, none of them are as cool as Nami's strongest power. She shows us her true strength in Chapter 22 after giving Luffy a warning about messing with his hat. Of course doesn't listen and rips a hole in it right after she fixes it. And that causes Nami to unleash her ultimate move, the ability to injure Luffy. And with a sewing needle, she pokes him in the face. Now that is one pirate you really don't want to mess with. But you don't want to mess with me either. So click this video where you can see Luffy fight every straw hat. Click it.